Hello, my name is Joshua, I'm from Barnsley College and today I'm going to show you how to analyse audio using Audacity. On the left here there's a drop down menu which changes what you can see here. At the moment we're looking at the frequency waveform, uh, I'm going to change this to the decibel waveform. And then this shows you how loud the track is at various points. Next on this menu is the spectrum. Now this shows you the frequencies that are present within the track. Uh, white means there is a lot of one particular frequency and blue means there are less. As you can see from this track it gets quite bass heavy here but then that changes to quite trebly at this point. Next is the pitch. Now I find this very hard to see on Audacity so if I wanted to view the pitch I use a program called Sonic Visualizer. This helps me to see the pitch of the track a lot easier. Uh, there is a tutorial on our website about the basic functions of Sonic Visualizer. Back to Audacity, I'm going to use the Analyze tab up here and show you what this can do. So I click on Analyze and Contrast. Now Contrast helps you to contrast two different parts of your piece. So I'm going to select this bit and this quieter one here. As you can see there are different volumes and it gives you the difference down here along with the average RMS. Next in the Analyze tab you can plot a spectrum. This shows you what frequencies are present at that particular point that you have analysed. Now here is an analysis of a whole song which I have selected. You can see it's got the full range there. This is exactly the same song but the frequencies are cut off after about 17,000 Hz. Uh, the one on the left is a WAV file and the one on the right is an MP3 file. The reason why MP3s take up less file space is because they don't have the full frequency range. So if you're analysing music make sure that it's a lossless WAV file and not an MP3 and then you'll get a fuller understanding of what you can see. Also on this Analyse tab it can help you to find certain things. So I'm going to click on Find Clipping. OK and as you can see it's found a clip here. Um, again I'm going to click on here and click on find beats OK. Then this selects every time it finds a hit point within your audio. Uh, you can also do it for labels and for finding silence and also for finding sound. I'll show you this one OK. And this shows you uh, where it detects a sound and it doesn't show where the silence is.